Today on The Joy of Editing, in this episode, we will be exploring the latest update for Topaz Photo AI version 1.2.7, along with a helpful tip on using face recovery. So let's dive right in. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Yes, Topaz have done it again. Another update. These are basically weekly updates right now, and I think that's really good. They keep improving this product, and they listen to your feedback, so don't forget to give them your feedback. By the way, this is version 1.2.7, and by the way, it's really easy to give Topaz your feedback. Just come up to help in the menu bar. You can give feedback if you click right here. You can report an issue if you're having an issue with Topaz Photo AI. You can ask for technical support by clicking right here. You can see where the product is going by clicking on Product Roadmap. And you can check out the new release notes if you click right here. Topaz has made it very easy for us to get in touch with them, to communicate with them. And every time we do, this product, as I say, is getting better and better. So keep it up, everyone. The main thing I want to show you today with this new update is with the Preferences panel. They've made some significant changes here, and I think they are really good. We're going to look at those. But also, like I said, I want to show you a really good face recovery tip that I discovered when I was looking for an image to use in this update. What you see in the screen right now, this is a screenshot from my laptop computer, which I have not updated yet. This is still version 1.2.6. But notice where the preferences are. They're up in the menu bar. That has changed and a bunch of different changes with the preferences as well. And I'll show you that right now. The preferences are still in the menu bar, but you don't see them right over in this area. You're going to find them if you click on Topaz Photo AI. You're going to find the preferences inside here. So I'm going to click on this. And you're going to notice we have some new things here. We have a general area where we could set it up for our AI processor. You know, this is a drop down, so you could set it up for your CPU or whatever processor you have, or let Topaz automatically do, do it for you. That's what I do. You can choose to have lens corrections turned on or disabled. I have mine disabled. This is something new. We can close images after saving. So after you've worked on an image and you've saved it out, it'll close that image for you. You don't have to close it yourself. So that's very helpful. And then right here, we've had this before, but it's in this general area, show help prompts. So if you want to see help prompts, you can leave this toggled on. I generally leave mine on, at least till you learn the product, then you can shut that off. But that's kind of cool. And then we have help improve autopilot. If you leave this checked on, every now and then, it'll send your image up to Topaz so they can analyze it and see what kind of a result that... Uh, the autopilot settings are doing. So I recommend that you leave that checked on. And then if you want to reset to default settings, you can click right here. And then under autopilot, we still have subject detection where you could set it up for default portrait landscape or none. It's up to you. I have mine set up for default. Now this is new, the face detection area. We have more things that we can do. In other words, not just shut it off, but we can also Tell it we only want it for subject only. We want it for all faces. Auto detection. If it's a high quality face, it won't detect it. And then we have none. But I'm going to go ahead and put mine on all. And then we have this new default face recovery strength. So you could set it up for what you think should be the default setting for your workflow. And I have mine set to 60. So this is a nice new feature. And then under here, we have sharpen where we could set it up for low, medium, or high. And then you have a drop down and you have your choices that you can choose here. I just have mine set for all of them. And then we have auto upscaling. I have mine set to enhance small images, or you could set it for a specific output size. Say for instance, you always like to upsize your images two times. It'll automatically do that for you by default but I leave mine set on enhanced small images only. And then of course you can click reset to default settings if you want. And once you have your preferences set just the way you like it, just click save and apply. And now I want to show you my little face recovery tip. I thought there was a bug in Topaz Photo AI, but after really checking into it, I found out it was, and it was just something I wasn't quite understanding. And I want to show you what I discovered. Now, this is a higher res image, and if I would have set up my face recovery for auto, it would not even discover faces for this image. But remember, I set mine up for all faces. 
and right now you're seeing the original image before any photo AI processing on it. That's because I have this eye turned on right here. Now, if I click it again and shut this off, we're actually seeing what Topaz Photo AI is doing. These girls in the background should look out of focus, so Photo AI is trying to make them look in focus and it doesn't look right. So let me go ahead and go back to the original. They should look out of focus like that. They should not look like this. And so this is how I thought about this. I thought, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come up here to refine my subject and choose none. And then just get my basic brush, my non-AI brush. And what I'll do is just add this girl's face in. Because that's the only face I need sharpened, not the out-of-focus faces. But I just want to show you an issue that showed up for me here. Okay, so I'm just going to paint across here. Just the areas that I feel are in focus. Just like that. I think something like that should do the trick. And then I'll click Done. I went ahead and cut the recording while Sharpen was updating itself. But now you can see I still have these girls trying to come into focus and they look really weird. They look very unnatural. This girl looks great. Okay, so now I'm like, what the heck is going on? Is there a bug here? But here's what I found. You'll notice under recovering three of three faces, because remember I had mine set to in preferences to all. I'm going to click select here, and I found if I shut this girl's face off and this girl's face off and then click done, now I no longer have that problem. These girls' faces are out of focus, and she's focused in very nicely. Okay, then that is my face recovery tip. If you have faces that are looking kind of funny that are out of focus, Photo AI is trying to do something to them, make sure under recover faces that you shut those faces off. That is my tip or you may get some weird looking situations. And then finally, let me open up preferences to show this to you one more time. Under preferences, under autopilot, if you have subject detection set for default, and if you have out of focus faces, and they're part of the main subject, Photo AI will also select them, even if they are out of focus. Make sure you go ahead and click on refine and just use the AI brush or the basic brush to just select the actual subject that you want in focus. That's very important. Hey, if you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.